Hi guys, Daniela here from Through the Looking Glass. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a super fun video lined up. We are going to find out what's all the hype about chat GTP. I thought, why not put it to the ultimate test? Everyone is talking about chat GTP and I just had to find it out for myself. I'm going to be asking chat GTP a series of questions on the spot without having typed it before. We're gonna see what kind of answers we get. We're gonna find out if chat GTP can diagnose me and crack the code of my mysterious illness. This is gonna be fun, I'm actually excited. I'm going to turn on my computer. We are going to go on to chat GTP. This is what you get once you sign in. You do have to make an account with your email address and then I think you have to put your phone number as well and they send you a code. Once you're in, this is the interface that you will see. So let's get asking. All right, here we go. So the first question I'm going to ask is to try to diagnose me. So I am going to put a bunch of symptoms that I have here and see what it tells me. I have pain every day. I have chronic nausea, chronic migraines, insomnia. Even when I do fall asleep, I do not wake up refreshed. I have restless legs, brain fog. I am always cold. What else am I gonna put here? Difficulty digesting foods, bloating, abdominal pain, lots of allergies, headaches, tingly sensation hands. I think that's enough. I mean, I could spend half an hour here putting every single symptom that I have, but I think I have given it enough. Can you please diagnose me? Right, let's see. Ooh, I'm excited to see. Okay, let's see what it has said. I'm not a doctor, but based on the symptoms you've described, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. These symptoms could be associated with various conditions, and it's important to have a thorough evaluation by a medical expert. Important to have a thorough evaluation by a medical professional. However, I can provide you with some general information about the potential causes for your symptoms and suggest a specialist you may want to consider seeing. These symptoms could be associated with various conditions. This is associated with various conditions. I want it to give me a diagnosis. I want to push it until it gives me a diagnosis. Mm -mm -mm. I am in a very remote area without transportation. There is nothing near me. I need a diagnosis so I can look for support groups online. Let's see. Ha! What's my diagnosis? Wow. Okay. It can take a push. The four options that it has given me, it said it could be fibromyalgia, it could be chronic fatigue syndrome, it could be irritable bowel syndrome, or it could be a neurological disorder. I have all four of those diagnoses. Now we are gonna take it to another level. I am going to see if chat GTP can give me emotional support. Okay, I think I have fibromyalgia. And I am very upset. I'm feeling depressed, anxious, and I feel like my life is over. Can you please help me feel better? Ha! Now we'll see. That's the ultimate test. Coping with a chronic condition can be challenging, and it's understandable to experience a range of emotions in such circumstances. While I can't provide direct emotional support, I can offer some general suggestions that might help you feel better. It's thinking. Educate yourself. Learning more about fibromyalgia can help you better understand the condition, its symptoms, and available management strategies. This knowledge can empower you to make informed decisions about your health and treatment options. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
it's giving me quite a thorough list of steps to take. And especially the last one, focus on the positive. While living with fibromyalgia can be challenging, it's important to focus on the aspects of your life that bring you joy and fulfillment. Seek out activities, relationships, and hobbies that contribute to your overall well-being. That's pretty good, but I feel like I want something a little bit more personal. Okay, I can try those things, but I am still feeling pretty bad about myself. I don't know what to do. Can you say something to make me feel less alone? Please remember that your feelings are valid and it's okay to seek help and support. Keep reaching out, exploring resources, and connecting with others who can offer understanding and encouragement. Okay, it did give me a little boost up. It also gave me some really good practical uh, ideas on how to cope emotionally, such as educate yourself, seek support, practice self-care, communicate with loved ones, seek professional help, focus on the positive. So these are all very you know, sound advice. All right, so let's try something a little bit more practical now. Recently, my injection for migraine has been declined coverage by my insurance. So I want to ask ChatGTP to write me a appeal letter questioning, asking why they declined the coverage and requesting that they reconsider. So let's see if it can help me on this kind of like legal side of things. Recently, my insurance declined coverage for my migraine medication and it was the only medication that worked after trying five different treatments. The medication has been prescribed by my neurologist. I would like to appeal their decision based on this medication is necessary for my ability to work and for my quality of life. Can you please write this letter for me? So let's see if ChatGTP can write an appeal letter to my insurance company. Oh, I'm excited to see that because I absolutely hate writing appeal letters, any formal letters, basically writing. I hate writing. All right, so let's have a look here. So it formatted for me, like with the whole like formal letter formatting where you put your name, your address, your email, your phone number, and your date, insurance company name, address, um, and then it says related to appeal for coverage of migraine medication. Dear, it has a space for insurance company. I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to appeal the recent decision regarding the declined coverage of my migraine medication. <laughs> Holy cow. That was impressive. I'm actually in the process of sending an appeal for my migraine medication that has been declined. And I've been procrastinating and postponing because it just brings me so much stress to have to write those letters. And honestly, I am just copy and paste this. I absolutely can use that. This is fantastic. I am like... 10 out of 10 for ChatGTP. This is a lot of fun. What else can I ask? Um, okay, something a little bit more personal. I'm always wondering what to cook for dinner. Always that time of the day comes where you're like, oh, what am I making for dinner? And my husband cooks a lot of the time, but he often asks me for ideas of what he should cook. And then also we need to make a grocery list so that he can go and buy the ingredients. So I'm gonna ask ChatGTP what to make for dinner. Can you give me an idea of what to make for dinner? I would like something that is vegetarian. No dairy. Uh, I don't want pasta. No pasta. Mm -mm -mm -mm. As healthy as possible while still being tasty. Isn't that the million dollar question? No tofu. Also something that it can be prepared. 
prepared in less than 30 minutes. All right, I am super curious to find out what I'm having for dinner tonight. So, quinoa and vegetable stir fry. Step by step instructions. I'm gonna ask ChatDTP to make me a grocery list that I can give to my husband. Can you please generate a ingredient list? So quinoa, vegetable broth, olive oil, garlic, onion, bell pepper, zucchini, snap peas, low sodium soy sauce, sesame oil, rice vinegar, salt, pepper, fresh cilantro. There you go. I can literally just copy and paste this into my messages, send it to my husband. Can you go buy those ingredients for me? We already have a dinner for tonight. Okay, let's, let's give it a little challenge. Can you make it be a bit more protein rich? Certainly, here is an updated version of the quinoa and vegetable stir fry. Let's see what has changed. It added edamame, which is super rich in protein. That is fantastic. Honestly, like I am hooked on this thing. I'm going to be asking for what I'm going to be eating for dinner every night. And you can just say, I want a rice dish. I want a pasta dish. This solves a major, major problem in my life. I'm speechless, like how can I not have used this before? This is like life-changing. And last, let's just play around a little bit with, let's see if we can recommend a vacation destination. And let's put a few requirements. Can you recommend a vacation destination where the weather is good, flights less, than four hours from Ontario. I would like a beach. I need it to be, let's say, wheelchair accessible. My budget is, let's say, $200 per night. Uh, what else, what else, what else are we gonna want? Mm, enough place that has low energy activities nearby. Based on your preferences, I would recommend looking into the following vacation destinations. Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Weather. Tropical climate. Accessibility. Beaches offer accessible pathway, ramps, and beach wheelchairs available for use. Low energy activities. So now I'm going to ask for a specific place to stay. Can you please give me a few options for a place to stay? How to get from the airport to my accommodation budget should include meals. Please include restaurants, an activity itinerary with lots of rest throughout the day. Meals must be vegetarian. Please generate itinerary. Okay, that is like if this thing can generate an entire vacation itinerary with all my needs, that is crazy. That's crazy. Let's see. Certainly, I love how it's always like so cheery and polite. Wow, look at that. Day one, arrival at international airport. Two, transfer to your accommodation. Hotel option, the Western Fort Lauderdale Beach Resort. Vacation rental option, cozy beach from condo with ocean views. I like that. Day two, morning, relax on the beach and enjoy a leisurely stroll along Fort Lauderdale Beach. Breakfast at your accommodation or a nearby cafe. Afternoon, take a scenic boat tour along the intercoastal waterway to admire the waterfront. Dinner at Sublime Restaurant and Bar. Day 3. Visit Butterfly World, a tropical butterfly sanctuary with beautiful gardens, wheelchair accessible, is available. Afternoon, explore Las Olas Boulevard, known for its shops, galleries, and restaurants. Enjoy a relaxed walk along the boulevard, stopping at the cheeks and art galleries. 
lunch at Fresh First, a vegetarian and gluten-free restaurant. Evening, enjoy a sunset picnic at Huge Taylor Birch State Park, surrounded by nature and accessible trails. Dinner at The Alchemist, a vegetarian-friendly restaurant with a diverse menu. Keeps going on and on. It gives me like a five-day vacation itinerary. And I'm pretty sure that if I wanted to be like super specific with like, well, let's, let's just try. Can you please? I'm getting polite because it is just so polite to me. Give me all the addresses from my itinerary. Holy cow, it is giving me the addresses of all the restaurants, the addresses of all the attractions, and for the accommodations. Honestly, this will revolutionize our world as much as the internet did when it came around. It's no wonder all the hype about this chat GTP. It's like incredible. Like it can make your life so much easier. Just one last question before we go. How can chat GTP be helpful to me as a chronic illness person? Let's see what it has to say for itself. All right, so let's see. Information and education emotional support, lifestyle tips, coping strategies, community and connection, wellness and self-care. Wow, I, okay, one last one. I have to try this one. Uh, where did it say coping strategies? It's listed as number four. So I'm actually just gonna say, can you give me some examples of number four? Acceptance and self-compassion, pacing and energy management, support system, stress management, emotional outlet, set realistic goals, advocate for yourself. Still going. Wow. Remember that coping strategies can vary depending on the individual and the specific chronic illness. It is essential to explore and experiment with different strategies and find what works best for you. Oh my goodness, I feel like I am speaking this. It's crazy incredible anyways guys that was a very fun video to make i would highly encourage you to play around with chat dtp and definitely next time that i'm stuck in bed in pain and i'm trying to distract myself this is going to be something that i'm going to be playing with and guess what i'm going to be having for dinner tonight guys yes quinoa and veggies if you like this video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing if you're not subscribed yet that was such a fun video to make and i will see you in the next one